Maybe it's because my parents were older when I was born, but the aging process has always been on my radar. Even in my 20s, I remember telling my brother Gary that when conversations revolved around what medicines people are taking, their aches and pains, and their most recent surgeries, that's how you know when you're old. However, I have refined my definition some in recent years. You see, the thing is, I'm edging into that arena of what people define as old, and I don't want to be one of those senior citizens people avoid because I'm so grouchy or because all I can talk about are my ailments. Maybe it's my teacher background coming out in me, but I think that studying people who are doing it right will give me a pattern to follow. So I've been watching, which probably sounds a little bit creepy, but I mean it as a compliment. Locally, I've admired ladies like Carrie Burton, Lois Seacat, Helen Hayes, the Mullenville one, but the famous one fits here also, Doris Hedrick. Granted, some of you watching may very well not know these gals, but if you know someone over, let's say, the age of 70 who is cheerful, interested, and appears to enjoy the company of others, then you need to get a picture of them in your head. If you can't do that, then just think about Queen Elizabeth II. She's a good example. After much thought on the matter, I think interested is the key word. My mother, Mary Carson Olson, had always been so very interested in other people. But when her health began to fail, that interest waned considerably. I swear, seriously, I had the distinct feeling I could have just dragged myself into her door at the rest home, panting for breath, and her first comment would have been, you know what, there was not one shred of coconut in that poor excuse for coconut pudding they served at lunch today. Really, that last year or so of life was pretty much all about her and not about anybody else. So I realize my research may not be as far reaching as some, but it is not merely anecdotal either. I have seen this scenario again and again. If you take some time to think about what I've just said, I'm betting you have to. As we are doing a piece this week on our local senior center, I've been reminded once again, I may not always be physically agile or even the picture of health, but if I can maintain my interest in others and what is going on around me, then maybe people won't cringe at the idea of spending time with me. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping. Of course, I do realize that for those who are already cringing, I'm probably not going to win them over, but all the same, I'm keeping an, my eye out for more and more role models. Those who make an effort, those who still find others interesting, those who are up for an adventure, and some spontaneity. Those are the kind of folks who gather at the Kiowa Senior Center each week. And I think taking a closer look at what is happening there will benefit each of us. The Kiowa County Senior Center has long been a part of the Main Street landscape here in Greensburg. I, along with many of you, remember stopping by for hot chocolate and cookies after a drive through Gamble's Candy Cane Lane. Happily, the Senior Center is still alive and thriving but they are doing so in a new location under the management of Carrie Kyle. This girl loves her job. It's no wonder seniors flock there. She's welcoming, has great ideas, can make any event fun. Let me give you a little background. Financial genius John Wickland appeared in Greensburg after the tornado and it just seemed like he'd been dropped straight from heaven with one mission help that town build a senior center. And that he did. As soon as the United Methodist Church was finished, its fellowship hall became the makeshift senior center. But as of April 2012, they moved into their own beautiful building on the opposite of end of Main Street from where they had been. God's timing has also fascinated me. So, when John announced he was moving on, the question on most people's minds was, oh dear, who in the world can step into that role? Little did we know, but Carrie's heart was being prepared to fill that very spot. 
I've had the opportunity to observe her as seniors arrive for meals. I tell you what, it is such fun to watch people do their job well, don't you think? Even though she doesn't think of it as a job. Carrie is right there to welcome people. She puts them at ease and takes a genuine interest in their lives, their families, their activities. What strikes me is how willing she is to make it whatever idea the seniors come up with into a reality. Last fall, they thought an old-fashioned weenie roast sounded like a good idea and that the lake in a neighboring county would be the perfect setting. Until that is, ooh, they realized the bathrooms at the lake are closed in the fall. And really, who wants to picnic with no bathrooms available? Not to disappoint, one chilly October night, Carrie got a fire pit ready right there on the property and the roast was a go, complete with s'mores and bathrooms, of course. She thinks it was one of the best parties they've had. Another example of Carrie's ability to take a ho-hum chore and make it fun is when they took their change jar to the bank last year. Psh, me? I probably would have just loaded it in my car and went to the bank. Happily, though, they made the trip an event, with a couple of gals pushing it down the street, followed by other senior regulars. I just love stuff like that. Believe me, there is more to our senior center than just picnics. And if you will join us after the break, you'll hear Carrie Kyle share what all they're up to. So come back. The internet has drastically changed the way we communicate. Are you keeping up with the times? The Kiowa County Media Center can connect you with viewers in markets all over the region, the state, and the world. Our technology keeps us on pace with the high demand of internet video content. Bring your audience from anywhere in the world to your wedding, conference, sporting event, concert, and much more. No one does high quality video streaming like us. We are the Kiowa County Media Center, leading the new age of communication. Thanks for coming back and we're sitting down with Carrie Kyle, who is the director of our Kiowa County Senior Center. Carrie, I am so glad that you could be here. Thanks. You have all kinds of good stuff going on at the Senior Center. We do. How about besides meals, which are served how often? We serve a meal at lunchtime, noon, mm -hmm. uh, Monday through Friday, every day, except for we do have some holidays that aren't uh, the way don't serve a meal. And you also have a carryout program, Meals on Wheels, as yes. well, don't you? Correct, yeah. And those go the same, Monday through Friday. Uh, we have a volunteer mm -hmm. that comes every, it's a different person every day of the week, mm -hmm. and they come and they deliver the Meals on Wheels. But I've been the, past the Senior Center all different hours during the day, and I know there's lots more going yeah. on there than just from noon to one every day. Correct, yeah. So what are some of the things that you've initiated that you've allowed the seniors to, to do in your Senior Center? Well, actually, I'll have to say that I, they come up with a lot of it. I, I will facilitate it. And I yeah, but you're really good at not saying, you're really good at not saying, no, we can't yeah. do that, or I won't be here, oh, or that's a bad idea. Right. You're very encouraging, I think. Well, I try to be, because I know that there's things that they want to do, and that's great. And I certainly am not going to tell them, no, we're not going to do whatever it is, just because I don't want to do it. So we, we've done a lot of things. We take field trips. They mm -hmm. went um, to Coldwater for Dave's Pizza and yes. the new bowling alley. Yes. Um, we went to... Uh, You've been to Don's down in Protection, I think, yep. for chicken, haven't you? We've been you? to Don's to chicken at least once. I think that everything that they like to do revolves around food. <laughs> well, it's which one is less meal to fix, yeah, right? Yeah, and they don't have, they're don't they not sitting at home eating by themselves, exactly. some of them, if they're not exactly. married. And, so it's a lot of fellowship. Um, we've went to Yoder to the quilt show, the quilt parade oh, in yes, Yoder. Yeah. Um, great, great food there too. Oh yes, so, definitely. So um, trying to think, we had a, a weenie roast. Yes, and a, and a, yes, I talked about that earlier. I just thought that was so awesome. It was fun. That you arranged that. It was a lot of fun. They originally wanted to go to the Coldwater Lake. Yeah. And then yeah. we discovered that there's really no restroom <laughs> facilities You're at right. the time of year that we wanted to go. <laughs> right. That was a no-go. So we decided to just do it at the Senior Center. But and I we, see cars there in the mornings too. 
What's yeah. going on then? In the morning, we have coffee and conversation. Coffee and conversation. Yeah. That's guy, good. It started out as a whole bunch of guys, mm -hmm. and they come and have coffee. And we now have several women that come, and they, they'll they play solitaire or read the paper or just sit around and talk and have coffee. And we serve, some days we serve food, too, on that, but it's not anything. Yeah, it's just, it, it's not a meal. You may or may not right. have something when they come in right. for and coffee. Right, and they pitch in food, or I mean, they pitch in money for the food to mm -hmm. buy, mm -hmm. and then they just have a nice time. And sometimes that lasts till 10, 30, 11 o'clock, so, you know, it's a good thing. We'll have 15 or 20. It's great. That's I love a it. really nice turnout. And yeah. what goes on uh, Tuesdays? What do you uh, have going on? Yeah, Tuesdays is card day, and we have a whole... <laughs> A big group of card players, mm -hmm. and they love this hand and foot. I don't know how to play it, <laughs> sorry, but they love it. So they and we have this group from Mullenville, and they have a bus that lives in Mullenville, right? And they bring it over, and we have at least twelve to fifteen extra like they don't come every day they could if they wanted to right they they just say hey but I'm. they definitely want to come on card day yeah oh yes that's their their favorite day <laughs> so that's on tuesday mornings mostly sometimes it's in the afternoon but wednesdays we have dominoes which is mm -hmm. we don't have as many play but it's one of those things that not as many people want to play so um we have being we play bingo once a month in fact you we know did that this morning i was um in our soda fountain here in greensburg one yeah. morning and i saw you and several other uh people that are regulars at the senior yep. center but there was also all kinds of ages there were yeah. kids out here there were moms yep. there were kids in junior high mm -hmm. Yep. And you're all out here in the soda fountain playing bingo. That that was last month, and we play bingo once a month on the third Thursday. And we're trying to make it more of a community event mm -hmm. and an effort, especially in the summertime, because we know that there's moms at home with their kids, and they're, they would they loved playing bingo. I bet. I so, bet. Oh, everybody seemed to be having a great time. Yeah, we, they really we tried were. to include the power-up group. Mm -hmm. um, we asked some of the mothers that we know that don't work during the summer. Mm -hmm. We said, hey, do you want to bring your kids? And so we were sure to have kids stuff, and we knew they'd like it at the soda fountain. Oh, that was, so, a, that was an yeah. inspired idea. Yeah. That's and Katie really and I came good. up with that together. We were like, we need to do something together. What could we do? That's perfect. And we did that at, this morning. We had bingo at, at the carriage house. We went oh. over and played with the residents over there. Yeah, so. I bet they enjoyed the they extra did. company, don't they, they? They absolutely did. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. So that was a lot of fun. And I know uh, we talked earlier about your change jar, but I know that you have other fundraisers during yeah. the year as well. Right, we are city and count, we're largely county funded. Mm -hmm. The city provides a grant as well. And then we rely otherwise on donations from the community and fundraisers. Mm -hmm. um, one of the misconceptions about the Senior Center is that the meals during the, during the week, they are asked to give a certain donation for a meal. Mm -hmm. And that actually goes to the meal program, which is a state ran program. Oh, so okay. all so that money goes back into the state okay. in or order for them to provide right. the meal so that it can continue. Right, and they provide everything it takes to put on a meal. So anyway, we so our part of helping to raise funds for the senior center is mostly in fundraising, mm -hmm. which we've had a lot. We've had hamburger cookout fundraisers that have been more than successful. We've had a great turnout. We've had quilt raffles. We've had I think that's such a good idea. Yeah. Do you do people in Kiowa County make these quilts, or where do you get the quilts that people you have donated? They've donated them to us. They just donate these. We had one donated to us that was made at the senior center before the tornado. I oh think in wow! Like, it was like in eighteen or nineteen eighty nine, uh -huh. which was not that long after the senior center originally opened. Uh -huh. So somebody had had it. Somebody had given it to them. Somebody had it in their cedar chest for years and years and years through the tornado. They came upon stuff they were cleaning out, mm -hmm. and they're like, you know what? This is just not being well served to just be in this cedar chest. So she brought it down and donated it. Now, to who us. all can bid on that? Anybody, if you know about it. If you, you know, about if it. you want to know what's going on, we have face a Facebook. You are you, on social media. Then. Yes, we are, the Kiowa County Senior Center, mm -hmm. and I have a weekly newspaper article in the Signal. Oh, so, perfect. Um, and I try my best to get everything in there that's that, happening that we have going on yeah so you've had hamburger cookouts you have your change jar what yes. are some other um activities you've done to help raise funds generate some money for the senior center we have um most of it revolves around food again 
Uh, it's okay we because can... we like places that, that's handy for yeah, all of us. I know. need a place to eat. I know. I know. <laughs> um, so we've had also a Chilean cinnamon roll oh, supper. Oh, I bet that went over that well. That went over really, really well. We had, we've had a couple of bake sales. They mm -hmm. go over really, really well, too. Um, i trying to think. We've had several just little raffles, like... Um, Matt Dighton gave us a Molly in the Tornado book. Oh, sure, and yeah. And we had a silent auction for that one. Um, somebody donated to us a little grill, an indoor, like, it's like a George Foreman grill. Mm -hmm. We had a silent auction for that. Um, I know that um, I was there with some students one morning for Make a Difference Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was so much activity. Yep. Even some uh, we yeah. activities going on. Yeah. Do they like we? What's their favorite? We bowling. bowling. We bowling. Yes. Didn't you even have a tournament we with had, some junior yeah. high kids? We had a tournament with some junior high kids last year. Uh huh. It was great. <laughs> it was so incredibly effective. Uh huh. They wanted to have the junior high students come so they could get to know the seniors. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple. We had one in the junior high group, and we had one in the seniors group that were very timid. Right. You know, kept very to reluctant. To... Yeah. And we paired them as a team. They won. And it was great. <laughs> oh, that is it was, great. It was just the most unlikely winners. And they were delighted. Yeah, and yeah, they came out absolutely. of their shell, you know. Absolutely. And we just wrapped up a wee bowling tournament a few weeks ago just with the seniors. They mm -hmm. do. They like to do that. Mm -hmm. Pool tournaments. We have pool tournaments. And those things I put in the paper. And anybody... You don't need to be a senior. You can just participate. Just let me know. You like a game of pool, come to the senior right. center. There's probably we, somebody there who will play pool yeah. with you. And we love to have younger people interacting with uh, the seniors. That's one of the things that we strive to Does the hospital bring their, they've brought their daycare yes. kids yeah. down, haven't During they? During the summertime. They haven't done it this summer, and I think it's just that everybody's really, really busy. So, But they've come and played bingo with us, too. They've come mm -hmm. and just done crafts. They've ca they came uh, for, our, for Halloween. They dressed oh. up. And they came and they brought little uh, treats that, and they all made them together. The uh -huh. seniors and them made oh, the treats together. Oh, a yeah. cooperative I, yeah, activity. Yeah, that was totally their idea. I was like, that's great. That's wonderful. We had a uh, Halloween contest, uh, costume contest. The kids weren't involved. They had to leave before lunch, but um, we had the mayors as the judges. Uh huh. So that was pretty oh, fun. how clever. I know. I tell people I don't have a job. <laughs> It's not a job. <laughs> I know. And you know what? I think she has said this more than once. And I know that Carrie is very genuine and sincere when she says that, that you say yes. it's not a job. What, it's not. <laughs> what, do you, what do you find so fulfilling about this? Oh, ev just everything we've talked about. I, the people, the seniors themselves are incredible. I get, the, I get from them so much. And they're just like my friends, mm -hmm. you know. And sure, I do the book work and I do some of the other day-to-day -day things for the meal program. I have a lot of paperwork and things to do. Sure. But they make it so enjoyable. And I just, if I could, my one regret about my job is that I cannot justify taking a lot of time to sit and play cards with them right. or just chit chat you know and sometimes I'll just say you know what today I'm just going to take it and do that because I think that I that, bet they appreciate that oh, connection do. though don't oh, you and when I do it then they're like you need to do this more often <laughs> I'm like I know I it's can. all about connections yeah. they feel that connection with you you right. feel that connection with them right and um, I know when I was in the other day anytime I've been in people are always very um, welcoming yeah. you're very welcoming they're interested in who's there and why they're interested in our the students that we brought there yeah they really are quite involved they, they're very involved we have the best group of seniors i don't know if i'm just lucky or if it's always been this way but i don't know but i know i want to be a senior like <laughs> them someday <laughs> well take notes <laughs> i am i am i think they are awesome yeah. role models they are we have the really the best group of people they they want to be involved mm -hmm. they want to not sit at home they know that it's in their best interest to be there to and get do out things mm -hmm. they don't just want to come and eat they want to do the activities and the only thing I haven't gotten to do is the garden in the back. <laughs> we put in these uh, planters, these raised beds. Yes, yes. And 99% of them, they don't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> 
which well, you know, maybe they've done their share of gardening in their life, and yeah. that chapter is closed. That chapter is closed. <laughs> yeah. Randy and Joanne, Randy Rinker and Joanne Hayes get the bulk of the activity back there because they're like, nobody else is going to do it. But it's funny. It's funny the things, and and we've done things that haven't been successful too. I mean, I've tried to. Well, you know, you can't bat a thousand. Yeah. I mean, eventually right. there are going to be some things that are more popular right. than others right. or that people enjoy more than right. others. But what I think is so awesome is that you just keep batting. I mean, oh, you know, yeah. you just keep thinking of things and they think of things and you right. accommodate what they want to do. Sure. Yeah. And um, it's just a very vital, active part, I think, of our community. Yeah. I have, I have a couple of people that come to mind quickly that I will tell you that if it was not for the senior center, we saw, I've seen them be at home, stay at home, hardly come out. And then, you know, their friends at the senior center start saying, hey, can I come pick you up? Cause you know, I mm -hmm. think you really enjoy coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess, you know. So then they start coming. Maybe they came once a month and now they come every day and they're completely, they dress differently. I bet. They're smiling when they walk in the door and when they leave. And that's not me. That's them. That and, and Well, the, I think it's the tone you set. And everybody there really wants that mm -hmm. for other people. They might see some other people and be like, you know what? I think you should come to the senior center. And some people are really reluctant to come. You know what they say. What? I'm not old enough to go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it sounds like, it, you know, if you just want to have fun and you want to right. have conversation and maybe yep. play some cards Activities. or dominoes or wee bowling or whatever it happens to be and yep. participate in the, the exactly field trips, right. yes. I think those yeah. sound wonderful. It's hard for us to find field trips that are suitable for enough people to go to justify taking buses mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. um, but now we try to go once a month to do something. Mm -hmm. And even if it's go to cold water and eat at Dave's Pizza or one of those sort of things. Um, our goal for this year, our fundraising goals are to buy a new bus. And oh, wow. Right, okay. now, right now we have a um, 50 mile radius is our limit. And that's because our buses are both quite old. So our fundraising efforts are going towards a new bus. So hopefully we could go, you know, to the um, Three Eye Show, or right. we could go to Wichita to go to some show and what's right, the, like to Crown Up Town or the Garden. Or they don't they have a garden festival? The, bot the Botanical Gardens yeah. also would yeah. be a great yeah. place to go. Yes, and I think yes, a and lot the Home and Garden show yeah. would be fun. Right, I think they would enjoy that a lot. Oh, I'm sure. And you have a service that a lot of people aren't aware of for those who are um, unable to, to right. travel on their own. Right, we have a bus that has a lift on it and mm -hmm. it has the same specifications. <laughs> we cannot take it over 50 mile radius, but if somebody has a appointment, a doctor's appointment in Pratt, or even, we've even taken one gentleman here in town just a few blocks we, to his son's eighth grade graduation. He couldn't get there any other mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. they, they can't get him in and out of the vehicle anymore. He's in a wheelchair. And very, he's very difficult to, he's very and not everyone has uh, right. vehicles that are equipped right. for. In fact, not uh, very many people yeah, do. Right. Yeah. So we've taken him to ball games, eighth grade graduation. We've taken people to doctor's appointments in Pratt. And that's all volunteers. People volunteer to drive the bus and mm -hmm. take them. So it's, it's been really, and it's really rewarding and awesome to see everybody stepping up to say, hey, I can do that. I can help you, you know, so. Synergy, everybody working yes. together yeah. to create something. And it's funny that's... because once one person sees something going on, they're like, oh, well, I, what can I help? What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> you know? So it's really, really interesting to see that part of it. Yes, I bet. I and, bet. and to see that it's actually making a difference in their lives to be there. And I like that the school and the daycares have gotten involved as yeah. well. I know the band yeah. has come. Yes. Uh, vocal, Choirs. Yeah, vocal groups have come yep. and, and sung. And yep. I think that is just a great two-way street. Yeah. It's good for the, high, for the kids and it's good for the seniors as yes. well. Yes, very so much so. Just, I just think it's a win-win all the it way is. around. I really do, and I'm so glad that you were here with us today. Me too. And that um, we have a chance to sort of let's 
Shine a little spotlight on the yeah. Senior Center and what all is going on down there. Well, we appreciate it. And to everyone, they can stop by any time. We're open 8 to 3. Monday through Friday and okay do you hear that so <laughs> any of you who <laughs> come have want fun. a pool game or just a game of chicken foot and there right. aren't as any, there's nobody at home to play with or yep just go to the senior center I bet somebody will sit down and play dominoes with you or a game of cards yes, or absolutely. shoot some pool we, we bowling <laughs> we bowling we golf it sounds yeah. like there's lots yeah. to do and yep. and best of all you can make connections and just visit with people Yep. have conversations you'll benefit and they'll benefit and so we really really thank you so much for being here today thank and you. thanks for all you do You're for welcome. the senior center uh, it's my pleasure thanks so much yep. and we'll be back in just a few moments I have been listening to the music of Randy Rinker since I was in high school and he played for the melodramas at Burktown. There is no one I'm positive in Kiowa County who doesn't enjoy listening to him play the piano. He plays it with such ease and with such vitality. So here today as a special treat for you is our musical guest Randy Rinker. 